Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Funko Pop collection part 2 because since my last one, my collection has doubled in size and I think it's an appropriate time to do a part 2. I'll probably do a part 3 by the end of the year because I buy a lot of pop so there should be more by then. So let's get started on the left side of my shelves and I'll just show you all my pops. Alright, here's my Steven Universe ones. We have Steven in the back, um, the Underground Toys exclusive, he glows in the dark, um, a flocked lion, Garnet, um, Amethyst and Pearl are actually both glow in the dark pops, I don't have the normal one, but I don't care, they look so similar, it doesn't really matter to me, and then I have Rose, Steven, Lapis, Lion, Peridot, and Connie. So that's all my Steven Universe pops, um, Steven's actually the reason I started to get pops, I found him when I started to like Steven Universe, and I was like, okay, well, Pops are kind of cool, I should get more. So, it all started with this guy. So, moving on to the next ones. Alright, we have Marceline back here, a little Finn Dorb, he's the only Dorb I have. Um, we have Ezio, or Ezio from Assassin's Creed, uh, was a gift from a friend, and he's actually shooting up in price a bit, which is kind of cool. Um, here we have Squidward. Um, he, I got out of the box for $5, which is good, because he's, like, almost $200 in the box, and, like, $60 at one point out of the box on eBay. No one's selling him out of the box anymore, but he was $60. We have Cat Dog, um, uh, Reptar, who I've seen the chase for $20, but I didn't get it because it was $20, and I got a different chase, which I'll show you later. Um, here's Ren. I also saw the chase for him, and I regret not getting it. It's the one thing I regret not getting. Um, here are the three Captain Underpants pops I have. The FY exclusive, just normal Captain Underpants, and then Professor Poopy Pants. Over here is, like, my miscellaneous section, I guess. Um, we have my only Marvel and only Star Wars pop. I got them. I don't really like the bobbleheads, so I don't have that many of them. I plan to get more Marvel Pops when the Deadpool 2 Pops come out, because the Bob Ross one and the one where he's holding the little panda, I really want those ones. And maybe the Laying Down one, I guess, but mostly those two. I also have Pac-Man. Um, I want to get the other Ghost, but I probably never will, just because they're not that great. Um, I have the Black Ranger, who's my brother's. The Black Ranger, um, Deadpool and Frieza were pops that were my brother's that he gave to me and then he got more pops so I don't know why he gave mine away or his away but I guess I'm right now here's Morty it was a Christmas gift um Mr. Napoli who I don't think I've shown on the channel yet um I'm not going to now that he's here but yeah he's a really nice pop who I'll mark exclusive and I'm glad I got him here's Bug Cat and then let's move on to my shelf of mostly newer pops besides a couple from there so, up here we have the Cagney Carnation Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. I really love this one. Glad I got it. Here I have King Dice, Mugman, who I also have not shown on the channel. And he, I really love him. I'm not going to show him. The main difference between him and Cuphead is the nose, the smile, and the straw. And, like, if I don't know if you can tell, but Cuphead's head is bigger. And yeah, I really love Mugman. Glad I finally found him. And now I've been seeing a bunch of him, so that's good. You should pick one up if you find one. If you have an exchange near you, there um, they have a lot there. Here's Harry Potter with um, the prophecy, even though that's not actually what he's named. That's what he's holding. And here's the Hot Topic exclusive Werewolf Lupin. Really glad I got this one when I did because it was there for like a week and then was gone. And I had to get one from the back right at the beginning. So that's how um, hard to get this one was. But I'm glad I did get him. I love this pop. All right, let's move down a level. So here we have my favorite completed set. I only have a couple. I count Steven Universe as completed, even though I'm missing a few glow-in-the-darks and normals. I don't really care. I count it as completed, but this is my favorite one because when this came out, I told myself, oh, I wouldn't get them because um, they're going to be hard to find, and honestly, they were. It's I still am like, wow, there's a Gravity Falls when I see one because these were out for like a week, and then I never saw them again. So... I said I wasn't going to get them, but then I saw the Hot Topic exclusive Mabel Corn Mabel, and I was like, okay, Dad, I'll pay you back if you give me that. So, um, I got that, and then I went to Barnes & Noble like a week later, found Mabel and, um, Grunkle San, and got those two. Then, I decided 
to go ahead and order um, Chase um, Bill online because he was only like $25. So that was pretty good. And then I found Dipper at an exchange. Found um, Bill Cipher at a BAM. The two from my last video. I didn't find them in my last video, but those are the two stores from my last video. And then at the same exchange, just like a couple months ago, I found Chase Dipper in the wild. I mean, they it is a resale store. Oh, it's dusty. It is a resale store, but um, it was only for $12 and it had a new sticker on it, so I think they actually just got one. So that's cool. I count them as an in the wild pop. Here I got my last video. I got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Batman. I had the San Diego Comic Con Bruce Wayne back there. I, I keep him in the box. I don't keep him in the box because he's all busted up. I found the Killer Croc and Popster out of the box at the exchange. I really wanted this one but didn't get the Walmart box so I was glad I found it. This is my first pop ever right here. I got him when I was really little, probably seven, and I didn't like pops. I just thought it was cool. I really need to dust these guys. They're really dusty. You can see that. But, um, yeah, awesome pop. Uh, wasn't into pops until last year, but I still had two. There's my second one before I started collecting is down there. I have my two Batman animated series, Clayface and um, Phantasm, I think. Yeah, uh, really great pops. Glad I got them. Now, Moving down, we have my big Dragon Ball section, which is my biggest group. I don't actually have them all. Um, here we have my Bruce Wayne in the back. Um, pretty cool. Only pop I've never taken out of the box, I believe. I don't think I have. There's my Hot Topic exclusive Golden Shenron. Really glad I picked him up. One of the most viewed videos on my channel, so that's cool. Back here I have Goku Black, who I just got for a two, buy two, get one 75% off deal. There's nothing really special about him, but it's Dragon Ball Super, so gotta love it. Um, here's Goku on Flying Nimbus. Glad I got him. Bulma, just to complete the set, minus the one where Goku's in his orange suit, which is super expensive, so don't want to get that unless I get a good deal. Toys R Us exclusive hit, got the last one, glad I found that. Go Tanks, who's also shooting up in price a bit, it's like almost $30. Um, Max, Grinch, and Buddy, uh, which are really cool pops, I love them. Uh, I got the SNES Classic for Christmas, so I keep the Christmas related pops minus the Krampus um, in front of there. And then... In the front row of Dragon Ball, I have um, Hot Top Exclusive Future Super Saiyan Trunks, which I also haven't shown in a video. Just picked that up when I got the Mugman. So I'm not going to review the Mr. Monopoly Mugman or um, Future Super Saiyan Trunks. They're just right here. I have Trunks. Frieza, who was one of the ones my brother gave me. Cell. I was really glad I found Cell because... Um, He's kind of hard to find, and it's an awesome looking pop. The colors are a little weird, but love them anyway. Uh, great pop. I love Cell. It's just a cool pop overall. Um, now I just need to get Majin Buu, and I'll have, like, I guess the three big guys. I think that'd be cool. I keep seeing Majin Buu and Super Saiyan Goku, just haven't picked them up yet. Here we have Piccolo and Gohan, not the two-pack. Got them separately. And so, yeah, that's my three rows and then let's move down to the fourth one which has some of my coolest pops on it and also some of my just mm, pops but i love all my pops so that's fine all right so here we have my second pop ever rick i got him threw away the box he's like 50 dollars in the box so kind of wish i kept it but this is before i liked pops i just like the walking dead you can tell it's an older one because of his little stance and so I'm glad I have one that's, like, in that stance. He's one of the only ones I have. I have a Xenomorph, which used to be the most viewed on my channel, but then the Cuphead one just beat it recently. It's at, like, 700 views right now, which is awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, here's the Neomorph with Toddler. At first, I didn't like this pop, but, you know, now it's a part of my collection. I like it. Um, it's creepy, uh, but not that creepy. I don't like, like, the um, Chucky ones or the uh, Hannibal Lecter. I don't like the horror ones. They just... They're not in the 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 mood of my pops. I don't like them. I wouldn't get them. Even if I found, like, the Tiffany Chase, I wouldn't get it. I think I'd buy it and give it to my friend Sully Studios because he really wants that one. But, yeah. Here we have the Krampus. Also, go on Sully Studios and tell him to make a video. He said he will. But I want to see one soon. And here's Liu Kang. Um, Bob Ross. Uh, my whole little Bob Ross section. Uh, we have painter Bob Ross, uh, with, well, he's a painter always, but, like, he has the giant brush. I love that one. Bought him for $20. I should have got the Target exclusive. It was also there, but I didn't. 
which sucks. I'm asking for that one for my birthday because it's super expensive. The Chase Bob Ross, which I found with the Chase Killmonger and the Chase Crash Bandicoot. Some of the first pops I found, or first chases I found in the wild, and I really love them. They're all amazing pops, and no matter how many chases I ever get, these ones will always probably be some of my favorites because they're the first ones I ever found, and some of the first ones. And, um... Here I have the GameStop PowerPoint exclusive Nathan Drake with Naughty Dog shirt. He's pretty cool. I keep him in the box just because this is an overlooked pop in my collection, I feel like. When I think of my pop collection, I don't really think of him. Probably because I keep him in the box, but he's not really that rare of a pop. I don't know. I just never have. So, yeah. I just, uh, the other two Bob Rosses he has with his raccoon, the Chase is with an owl, uh, the Chase Crash Bandicoot's black and white, and the Chase Killmonger has his mask on, just wanted to point that out. And then there's this normal Bob Ross, so yeah, those are all my pops. Now we can look at my families, who also have a couple, so let's go look at that. First we have my brother's pops, which he, um, gave to me. These two aren't my brother's, but, um, or he didn't give these to me. The, these are the ones he hasn't given to me, and... I don't want him to. I want him to have his own pops. So he has King Kong um, destroyed the box and Darth Vader destroyed the box. I told him, keep the box good, and he, he still destroyed them. So yeah, g good job. So yeah, those are my brothers. The ones that are like my family's pops are the Parks and Rec ones mainly, which uh, are pretty sweet. We only don't have Leslie. We saw her, but missed out on getting her. So here we have... Andy, April, Ron, Will, Sebastian, Burt Macklin, which was only at Hot Topic. It was there for a while, but it's gone now. It was gone a long time ago. So these are pretty cool pops. We just keep them on a shelf downstairs by where our TV is. And they're nice pops. I hope we find Leslie so we can get her. And then my dad has um, uh, FY Exclusive, Jimi Hendrix, where he's burning his guitar. That's really cool. He also has a Dr. Say's pop at work. And then my mom has an Aaron Rodgers and um, someone else in the Packers. She has two Packers pops that she keeps at work, so that's pretty cool. I want to get my dad a couple more pops that I think he'll like. But um, also, my little sister has one pop. Uh, before she was born a couple months ago, her nickname was Bert, and we found this at Barnes & Noble for like $5. So we got her that, and yeah. So these are all my family's pops, and... Those are all my pops, and thanks for watching the video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I'll be doing a part three of these when I get way more pops. And I think I'm the current number I'm at right now, I think altogether my family has 82, and by myself I have 73. And I think in the last video there was only like 40. So yeah, it's pretty good. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.